Okay, hey guys, welcome back. Yeah, so I think I actually have screwed up recording last turn. I thought it was paused or something and it wasn't anyway. Importantly, the turns before that, I also screwed up recording because my mic has the little green light of happiness on, but apparently it wasn't recording. So the last episode is silent. I can't go back and fix that and I don't have the turns to try. So I will put that up on YouTube. I will make it listed basically so that it's not getting advertised. So people don't have to sit through a, another silent, low quality audio video from me. Lord knows I've made you suffer enough. But if you want to, if you are that kind of masochist, or maybe you like it, maybe it's the kind of a uh, Dominion's experience you've really been waiting for, uh, you can click on it and watch it. So uh, anyway, that'll be a link in the description. But uh, yeah, last turn that I fuck, you know, screwed up recording. I basically just pinged Pangea's cap and there was a cocktrice that was in it that I was trying to bait out because we want to thug the cap actually because trying to storm through gates, especially with undead that can be banished is horrible. So the goal here is to get this cocktrice in here to land. We'll see if it works. Did my commander die? Where's the cocktrice? Please tell me it didn't not land. C. E. Where are you? How have you not? Why did you not fly? Oh, there it is. Oh, man, we don't even kill it. What a sacrifice. I think the commander got sniped here. It's just a taste of what's to come. We're gonna need Iron Will. Yeah, we're not doing this. I can't, we can't storm that. But they also can't take us in the field. Killed one Leo Griff and eight wolves. I mean, we can have these guys reanimate. Yeah. I don't feel great about storming this. Not a little bit. I also don't know what the solution is for us. Let's see how our dominion is. So we're down to three candles here. The AI just dom pushes so hard. Look at this. We've got tempos in literally every province. Welcome to impossible difficulty. Oh, you wanted to have dominion. I'm sorry. Let's go. We can go ahead and preach this up to five. We probably should also move a couple more people down here. I don't, if there, if enemy dominion, which it already is, starts coming in here, it can erode dominion in my interior lands, which I definitely don't want. Yeah. So what do we do? What do we do with this pile of steaming garbage? We can't kill the cock tree, so I don't really feel comfortable thugging. We're about to have mass protection, which makes it maybe a little more likely we could storm. Really, I think for us to storm, we would need rigor mortis and dark. I mean, we have rigor. If we had rigor mortis, darkness, and mass protection, I would feel comfortable storming. But not how it is. Definitely not how it is. So, what are we going to do this turn? I think we're going to go try to take this fort. That's, I think, what we're going to try to do. Um, yeah. So, let's group up our elephants because that's a, an important thing. I'll put them all on this guy. Uh, actually, I'm going to do the turn and then cut back. Okay, so I've scripted the turn and I have a plan. The plan is to do the same thing we did last time and failed horribly at, except we're going to change the leader. So hopefully the leader doesn't get sniped. We're going to be doing personal bark skin, and then we're going to cast protection or bark skin on all the nearby units. And we should probably also put some on guard commander. How about that for being smart, huh? Actually, you know, let's put some centaur on guard commander. That seems perfect, right? Less likely we get picked off, more likely we kill this stupid cocktrice. And if we're successful, then we'll try to kill this with thugs. If we're not, which, you know, seems kind of likely, well, then that will be kind of a continuation of our, of our luck streak. You could say luck or skill, you know. I think we, we deserve some of the responsibility for the misfortune that is, has befallen us. This game, anyway. So, yeah, we also have a decent amount of money left over. I probably will go ahead and slam a temple here. We've also gotten up to five dominion strength, so preaching isn't going to do anything. We'll turn that off. 
Although I do need to reach, where is it here? We're back up, or we're still at three. Got three people. Oh, wait, you don't need to preach. I think three people preaching is the appropriate number. Okay, so I think that's it. Let's let the turn do its magic. Hello, okay. We got a new turn. I got some battles. Pangea was not brave and did not ride out. Uh, let's see if our fort attempt worked here. We got it. We got it. Mission accomplished. We got it. Okay. We are now ready to probably lose two thugs. <laughs> okay, let's see if these battles went seemingly or just as well. I didn't really show you the script. We basically have flanks of centaurs that are trying to do attack rear and a big main force. We've also got the behemoths on the southern flank or the, the lower flank. The idea is they're going to work their way down the line, which they seem to be doing, which is strange. Normally they sit there behind people, not making proper contact. I really do hope Ill Winter, I think they planned to, I think it was just the coding thing that was hard to do. I really do hope they make it so that tramplers can wade because they're, they're some of the best use cases for raiding. It looks like a lot of our centaurs have died. I don't see many of them left. We must have lost, oh, there's a fair amount number of them. I bet you we lost at least 10. We lost four, okay, how about that? We hardly lost any. We lost one behemoth. We got a black bow of ba uh, Botolf. Converted one mannequin. Who got most of the kills? Most of the killing was done by the centaurs. Again, showing the importance of bringing them and not having a, an entirely chap dependent army. Yeah, they did get back in the back line and kind of play Pam. Where are they right now? Yeah, no, they kind of crushed the front line too. Okay. And then what was this? Oh yeah, this was us trying to go underwater. Our guys have horrible stats. But fortunately, there's few enough of them we, we win. Not terribly eventful things. Okay, here we go, guys. We are going to try to send in thugs. Will it work? Yeah. It could. It definitely could. So we're going to do area of effect one iron skin. We're going to do enlarge. Uh, I think we're going to swap in here. Uh, we don't have anything that's going to make us re like, I'm sorry, go berserk, which means we could have morale issues, but well, no, we could have morale issues. There's not much of a but to that. <laughs> we're going to do regeneration instead of personal regen, which we should have access to now. We might get a fourth script slot off. I hadn't been planning on it, but let's think about what we would want to do. Oh, what we really want to do is probably some MR, which I don't have access to. Temper armor could be nice, though. So I think we'll do that. A temper armor buff. That's an area one, basically, legions of steel, which is going to increase the protection of the armor gear we're wearing. Ideally, we would couple that with, like, a bracers of protection or something. But what else would we want to do? Soul Vortex is the next one. So I think we do Soul Vortex on this final cast for both of them. And we're going to need to split up the death gems here. And if they let us, I think we'll cast Invulnerability. Do we want to do that? Yeah, I think we do. If they let us, we'll do invulnerability. That should be just perfect. We'll put the nature gems on. We'll split them up here. We can't script her to retreat, so she's going to die. The reason is quite simple. She's going to need a gem for quickness. We might have two battles. If they ride out and fight, what would happen is she scripted to retreat, so she would leave the first battle, and she wouldn't be present in the second battle when we storm the fort. The downside of not scripting you to retreat is she's almost certainly going to die in the fort battle, but that's just a price we're going to have to pay here. 
But so far, I mean, this looks fine. We're going to be quite tanky with Moss Body, Soul Vortex, Temper Flesh, Temper Armor, Regeneration, Quickness with uh, these Wraith Swords, too. Should be pretty nuts. So we'll see. We'll see. I feel like we're going to be looking fine. We're attack closest, right? Yeah. All right, well, let's see how it goes. If nothing else, hopefully we can thin out the chaff swarm. We've got gems to spare, so if we lose this gear, which, you know, pretty high likelihood we do, that's going to be okay. And we'll move this guy in to be our, our mass protection caster for the storming, which will happen quite shortly if that doesn't work. What throne did we get? We got the silver throne. That's actually huge. These are both really nice paths for us to have. We are going to need to claim this which is not exactly a downside, you know, like, unlike the throne of death. So we're just going to sneak right over here and claim it. Yeah, ideally this will turn to a forest and then we kind of do our thing with it. We could also come and try to take these demon knights out. Not sure if that's going to be the best move for us. In terms of gold, we have some, but not a ton. We'll make some dryads here. By the way, our, I think I, I covered in one of the videos where my voice was scratched up, but as soon as we built our next temple, we went up to two dominion strength in our cap. And it wasn't there the turn before. So, you know, that's basically working how you would expect it to. Take these guys. Where should we go with these? Uh, I think we can attack this and potentially win a bump and expand our empire. This would be very rude. Do not do this to human players. I would not advise it. But versus the AI, I think it's free game. Yeah. So we'll see if we can snipe this, add to our little realm. How's Ulm doing in this? Because Ulm is our underground neighbor. I want to take a look at their score graph. They are stable. Looks like they lost a war to man, but they are not gaining it back. Yeah, this was almost certainly a lost war to man. Who else lost this war to man? It looks like Micklin. So man has eaten most of Micklin. We've eaten most of Pangea. We're now position one. Scalari and Kalim are continuing to make progress on man, though. So that's, you know, fine. Middle-aged man is, by the way, really strong in, in Dominion 6. They've got a lot of nice little buffs. We're preaching there. I'm going to go ahead and pause and finish the turn here. Okay, I think the turn's basically scripted here. We're just patrolling. We're reanimating with these guys, doing some site searching. We're sending our main force in here to main force. Our thug force to fight the Pangea. We'll see if that's effective. Yeah, so that's basically what's going on this turn. High likelihood our thugs die. <laughs> Very high likelihood, but there's a chance it works. The thing I kind of wanted to pull your attention to here is I was thinking, because we're getting... Not that far away from having Enchantment 7. I was thinking, what is it that we're going to need? And we need a way to do a, a remote attack to trigger Life After Death. I was thinking that it would have been nice to maybe use the Phantasmal attack, but that's not no longer an alteration and it's no longer air. It's an evocation now, and it's called Illusory Attack. Yeah, so... I think this is independent. Though this does imply enemies here. We'll, we'll, we might do this in a test game. Because I think we're definitely going to have to test it, test this out. I don't really know a good setup, and this is not a particularly easy nation to do such a thing on. So anyway, let's hit intern and see what happens. Okay, we got a new turn, and I have no idea if this was successful here in Pangea. So let's take a look. On the side of Pangea, we have a ton of Lamias who have life drain attacks, which are going to be very hard to tank. We've got Mother of Monsters, who is a poison cloud and huge amounts of death, and a ton of nature gems to do swarm and other sorts of devious casting. And by the way, we don't have enough poison resistance to really fully tank it. We just have five. We've got Leogryphs, who are going to sprint across the map very quickly. We've got White Centaur, who are, of course, very killy. We've got Wall Archers, and then a small slew of mages. On our side, we have some wishfully light, lightly kitted thugs here. 
and a dryad and a big fucking dream. Will this work? I haven't really had much success. I haven't also tested Dugging a lot in Dominions 5, but... So, of course, she doesn't finish her script, but she gets quickness off at least, but we don't have Moss Body. She probably could have used a shield or something. We kind of knew the wall archers with those long bows would probably be a problem. Okay, we, these guys, however, have gotten their full script off. So we're at 29 protection. That's going to even be pretty high versus Lamias with an armor-piercing attack. And we've got invulnerability, which means non-magic attacks. Well, some of these guys have invulnerability. But this guy does. So non-magic attacks is 33 versus 29. So it's even higher. Did this other guy cast it? No, but only one of them has invulnerability so far. Do they have Howl? They do have Howl up, so that's going to be a little tricky as well. Okay, we're making our way through the Lamias. Are we routed? No. There are these hill giants, which hit pretty hard, but it's kind of reduced to a bit of chip damage with 29 protection and the resistances. It's only, you know, they're going to hit for like two or three damage. When we, re we regen a lot of turn. And we have... Here's the real test. Are we higher than base HP? And that's actually, we're going to have to watch this again. I'll let y'all get the close-up view of the Dryad snipe at the beginning. These wall archers really do kind of fuck me up. I, I could have used bringing a couple things of chaff probably as well. So base hit points is 27 with the 30% from enlargement gets us up to 39. They're going to cast enlarge turn one. Okay, so Enlarge has gone off. She's about to get hit in the face. Yep. Now with Enlarge up, it went plus 60%. So that takes us to 47. And you don't have to wait for those hit points to happen. We, we, we jumped straight up to it. So yeah, it's 47 is the thing to compare against. I'll jump forward a few turns here when we get surrounded. And where are we now? Yeah, we're at 56 and, and 80. And what that means is we have significantly higher hit points than our current max, which means we're very far away. Because if you think about it, we have two sources of regen. One is Soul Vortex, and the second is regeneration. And when we're above our max hit, hit points, which in our case is 47, we only get one of those sources. Oh, three, and lifesteal. We get the lifesteal from the sword and from the Soul Vortex when we're above max HP. But we only get regen when we're below. So if we're above max HP, that means we're able, at least with the current composition of enemies around us and mages and whatnot, to sustain without having to even dip into our five or six, six regen a turn. So let's put this on high speed here. Mother of Monsters is making her way through. And that's going to definitely make things more complicated as we're going to get poisoned. But she's also going to poison her own troops. We have five poison resistance, which is sort of not enough. But we also have a ton. We're up at 80 hit points on both these guys. So we also have a ton of, you know, region capacity still. Now, at some point, it's very likely that... Oh, this guy's gotten decayed. That's not good. Yeah, he might die from that. Though we have a chance with high MR for the decay to wear off. It might not last the whole battle. Why do we have decay? Is somebody casting that at us? I don't see a death mage back here. I can't think of who would have it. Maybe this guy has a decay source. I'm not sure how we got decay, to be completely honest. It's not like a casual affliction you pick up. It requires some magic. Could be this guy. Has he cast Decay? No. Has the Queen of Monsters cast Decay? Not that I can tell. Not sure how we got Decayed, but that is no bueno. But it's also very likely we lose an arm. And if we lose an arm at some point, we, this guy's also, we, he may not survive. If we lose an arm, then we're going to lose one of our sources of regeneration. Though they don't seem too bothered by... We killed the Mother of Monsters. I feel a lot better about storming with the main army, too. 
She's in the wrong tile, though. They tend to target the tile directly in front of them. And she does have regeneration, so I don't think we're going to kill her. I think we're stuck with her attacking us the whole fight. It's interesting is she has waiting, right? So she was able, unlike my elephants, to wade forward through all the chaff and attack us. That's very important if you think about picking up a Titan. Your Titan can now do that as part of your team battles, unless they have Trample. Which is strange, because you think the Tramplers are the best at it. Now this guy not only has Decay, so they're both decayed. How are they getting decayed? Oh, you know what? I think there's a spell that does it in nature. I think it's called Venomous Death or something. We might be getting hit by that. It's not Word of Thorns, I don't think. I think that causes Entangle. I don't know how we're getting decayed, but I don't like it. But we're this guy's decayed, he's bleeding. I know this wait, which guy? Maybe he's lost the bleeding affliction. Yeah, it looks like it. But for a minute he was decayed and bleeding and poisoned. Never never mind though, we're staying above our threshold. Somebody in the comments is gonna know how I got decayed. It's gonna be very obvious to somebody. Oh man, this guy, things went south for this guy in a hurry. Holy shit. We're about to lose one. I don't know what what's happened. That's a pretty long log. Now we can heal up quickly. It could also be we've accumulated false damage. I think that might be what it is. There's these phantasmal warriors that have hit us for 16 damage and you can't regen through that. So what has that done? I'm actually kind of curious here. Okay, well, they're both at 40. I think they both lost hit points to false damage. And I don't think they're able to regen up past that. Every time you see, like, a purple number pop up, that means they're in trouble. I don't know how that interacts with, like, healing above your max HP. We've got a lot of different things interacting here. I saw some more big damage numbers come up. We're still stable at 40. I think that they've accomplished their mission, at least, and that they've thinned out the horde. I, I think we're going to have a much better time trying to storm ourselves now. But I don't think they're going to survive much longer. We're on round 83, though. There's a chance we get to the... There's a... So there's some... This is a good time to talk about some of the other new mechanics in Dominion 6. At round 100 or something, Twilight happens, and everybody loses their buffs. And my guys are definitely going to die when the buffs are down. So Twilight just happened. All temporary effects are dispelled, so these guys are now reasonably easy to kill. But Hal is also down. Our guys are not routed, it doesn't look like. But, like, they can't regen. They're not quickened. They're just going to basically instantly die. And they were doing pretty well, but, yeah. Very hard, especially with Howl up. It's very hard to super combat in armies now. But did it work? Yeah, I mean, we did a trade, right? We killed most of the Lamias, the Leogryphs. We killed a lot of the things. Was it worth it? Mm -hmm. Probably not. A decent chance some other monsters picked up a lot of that gear too. I think we wait till we have rigor. We're gonna... We're gonna lose if we storm right now. We also, I think we have Venomous Death, right? Is that an alteration spell? Yeah. So we, we should be able to kill the Mother of Monsters on Advance and Cast. But got an Elmish Spy out here. So yeah, pour one out for our, our brave compatriots. That There's a lot of things that make thugging harder in Dominion 6. You know, the time limit, obviously, right? Where the all the buffs leave you. Uh, but also, like, you don't get as much protection from Iron Skin and stuff. 
and then stuff like illusory damage which we definitely suffered from that fight we a lot of the things kind of affected us there and the net effect is we probably would have won that fight in dominions 5 and we lost in dominion 6 so there you go let's see if there's any other news here let's check our diplomacy as well make sure i know who we're at yeah, we're at peace with everybody. We're apprehensive with Arco. So Arco may attack us. They've got a fair amount of stuff on our border. Um, We've got a bit of money. I think we're also going to build a temple here. Though I wonder, how many temples are we at? We're at seven. Okay. We can get up to nine, and then we need to be a little careful about building our, our ninth. So we can build two more. We'll build one here and here, I guess. will be the next two. Okay, we brought some dryads here. We're going to have them preach. I'm going to try to cut off this Scalaria Dominion at the source. Go ahead and preach here, too. Get us back up to five. You can see we're very much struggling to control Dominion. The AI is putting temples in every single province. We bumped here with Pyrene as well. Since we took it first, they routed in the second battle, even though this was their province by all accounts. Ooh. Oh, hello. Hello. Conjuration discount site? Don't mind if I do. Are we site searched here? Let's have her keep site searching. Though I do kind of want to preach here as well. We got our profit here, so we're going to claim this Throne of Ascension. We're also going to site search with this guy, and then I'll put him on auto site search, but I do want to make sure we site search this Throne for Astral. We're actually going to auto site search this guy as well. And I'm going to do the rest of the micro here as we get into it. But basically the plan is going to be... Oh, how many turns do we have? Wait here until we have rigor? Yeah. I really don't like the fort changes. The fact that you cannot bust through the gate now is kind of shit. And there's still enough inside we're not going to straight up win. There's enough. We've killed enough, though, that if we had mass flight, which is here, and I think our god might could cast it, then we could give it a shot. But, yeah. Uh, we should script this guy to do mass protection, though. Or Oaken Army, as it's now called. Wait, can we not cast it? What, what, what do you need to have to cast it? Oh, three gems. Okay. Well... Let's shuttle some more gems out here. So that's that. We could look to build a another fort here. I think we're gonna shuttle out a couple a couple of these guys to do a lab temple combo. Maybe we just do a lab, because I, I think we're we're running up real close to the 10 Dominion points, which is going to give us three Dom Strength, which is really going to pick up the speed of our pop kill. Here is our surviving Fluffer, who suffered a, a fairer fate than her, the, her compatriots who she was buffing, which is not normally the case. Normally, it doesn't go very well for the Fluffers. But anyway, there we have it. So, hmm. All right. Oh, yeah, I'm going to pause. All right, we got the turn rolling. I probably should have let you guys know, but just heads up. New turn in a second. Okay, and we got a new turn. A lot of thrones claimed. Throne of Earth is claimed. We get the Silver Throne. And the Throne of Life has been claimed, this time by the Grand Thaumaturg, which means Scalaria. We route Scalaria here. We found a magic site, a Shimmering Waterfall, which I'll probably... Oh, there's just Glamour. No more sites. Pangea not riding out, just camping their capital. Feels a little bad, man. I'm not going to lie. Can we preach them out of here? That would be delightful as well. We can put the nature gems now on our Oaken Army caster. I need to start using the right language. I'm on personal regen. And we have claimed the Silver Throne, so we can get added to the Silver Order. We definitely want to get those post haste. We'll go ahead and I was going to have this guy auto site search. Ooh, we're a little poor, but I want those things. Let's see if there's... We can turn this into cheap dryads. We can turn this... Let's see if there's one who's not finished production. Okay, we can turn this into cheap dryads. 
Perfect. And now that should free us up to make a lab. Cool. So now we can make more expensive mages that we really can't afford. Yay. That's exciting. I'm trying to think if there's some other way we can fight this. We really just can't go through this choke, I don't think. Yeah. I mean, this is something you can exploit in your game. I mean, there's nothing I can really do. I have some astral mages we could bring and try to body ethereal through the walls. That on tramplers may do it if we also get them buffed with other stuff. But... Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> I don't think that would be it. A very viable plan. But quickened behemoths with body ethereal on them, especially if we also somehow got regen on them, you know, that could be a good thing. Ooh, this is a special random. It's a death and a nature random. We should probably give them a name. And we should probably have them cast, forge some stuff for us. Let's think what we want to make, because this is again our discount site. We could even, maybe it's worth having just one body ethereal thug that's going to be trying to plow through. We really just can't take this for it. It's so crazy. It's very crazy. At least we're getting more free spawn with some of our guys while we wait. Preach. Preach. It's too many candles. Yeesh. I'm going to pause. We'll do the turn. I'm having some thoughts. I'm thinking like, okay, we can't storm forts and how much that sucks just because it's illegal for us. And I was thinking, man, this really sucks. But then I was also thinking, maybe we could. What would we need? We would need to win the attrition at the gate battle. And for that, we would need rate. <coughs> we would need ranged. And then I was like, okay, well, like we can't. The, even in this circumstance where like it's exactly what I need, I still can't justify making these guys. So expensive. But maybe I have to. I mean, maybe we, we have to make those. The alternative is I make short bows. Which are generally pretty bad. I don't know if we have a good short bow unit somewhere. Maybe this. Get three a turn. That's too slow. How many? I could probably get a lot of these guys in a turn if I canceled a bunch of recruitment. I mean, that might be what it takes. That might be what it takes. I feel like we need to go on Scalaria next, too. They've got the Throne of Life. I'm not sure which one it is, but... Ooh. Woof. Back to three Dominion here means I'm going to have to preach with more people. We're trying to preach out the Dominion here to, to no success. Here we finally got our first candle. This has been enemy Dominion for a while. We've got three people preaching. The Dominion pressure from impossible AI is actually crazy. It's actually crazy. Man, I would really like to kill Pangea here. I just don't see how it's going to happen. I don't see what we're going to do. Are we going to... I mean, let's... I think we're going to need... Where are my Astral Mages? Things I really want them out sight searching, too. But I kind of want to sight search with the, these guys, which we'll have in a turn. Where was my other dude? I mean, I don't have many. Here's one of them. Here's the other. Okay, so... Maybe after they search this turn, I bring him down. I could try to make just some super killy guys. Did I get them ethereal? Do I have a way to make them fly? No. But if they were flying and ethereal, they don't really need to be ethereal. Maybe that's what I need. I mean, we could do mass flight with these guys. Right? Like, mass fly. Let's look at the research requirements for it. Yeah, it's still air three to cast. So air three with an extra gem. Oh, no, this is area effect. We have to have this soaring army. 
we could just do the but they could still do levitate soldiers is this it floating no that's not it i guess it's still called gift of flight so we could gift of flight a few people i mean that could be the ticket have a gift of flighted thug and then their job is to just kill everything very quickly and we can like quadruple frost brand them I kind of like that we just stack them up with frost brands they're going to be quickened yeah and then they just go murder everything while our army's jammed up in the gate and then that by that by the time that's done, we'll also have rigor mortis. So I think that will work. Let's take a look at the the research here. We're gonna have six this turn, and then we'll probably have seven and two turns after that, three turns after that. So that'll even be before this. So we could try to make a play with just rigor mortis, and I think that will work. I think what we're going to do then is I'm going to, I think, what does it take to do anti-magic? I think you have to be Astral 3 now. So we need to make a Starshine Skullcap somehow, which we don't have the gems to make, nor the paths. So we have to wait for one of these. I think we'd still just do Rigor. We're just not going to have anti-magic on our own stuff. But we'll have Mass Protection... Who do we have here? Would be good to get Body Ethereal. Let's bring two guys to the surface here. And if they can get here by the time we storm with Rigor, and we can bring a Death 3. I should have taken those boots of the Messenger off that other guy. Um, We'll just wait a turn with him. Let's send a couple... Do we have... Let's have this guy move down here. Oh, this is another special boy. Uh, he's a double random. So he got the nature random and the water random. But, yeah, I want to forge more stuff. Do we have the death? Uh, no death randoms. Uh, is there somebody else? Did this guy make it down here? No. All right, well, whatever. What... We're not going to get the extra savings. I just want to have a Boots of the Messenger here. So we're going to put the Boots of the Messenger, and then we can get one of our Death Randoms down there. We're making a Skull Staff this turn as well. Uh, that will be needed for Rigor Mortis. Uh, and then we also can make... This guy will be able to make the Ghost Orb, which will give us temporary Death Gems, which will be nice for Rigor Mortis as well. So I think that's it. We're basically just going to be camping their cap, because they're not going to ride out, and we can't storm. And we're going to be waiting. So we'll see you in the next episode. All right. And we have another turn. I realize this is probably now a pretty long episode for you. But but yeah, let's see what happened. We got attacked here in the Mycenaean Marshes, which we do not like. We do not approve of. Otherwise, nothing has happened. We got an Elemental Apprentice and some gold. We found a magic site, X-Woods. What was it called? An evil enchantress has cursed the forest. Leaves fall. Branches wither and rot. And rot is spreading. Must be a dying fortress. Okay. So it's given us death. Which is fine, actually. We don't really need the growth scales for our spawn very much. It's not that important. Um, but it is important for, for turning into a forest. And it's already turned into a forest. So we're set there. Still three enemy candles here. The good news is we're building up candles here. We're already at three. Um, we need to try to get the Dominion out of here, but I don't see that happening. Instead, I think we're going to have to come down here and preach here. Try to get our Dominion spread here. We're going to have to, like... this is There's too much enemy Dominion here for us to chip at with just a Holy 2. We would make progress, but it'd just be super slow. We also should see if we can take this underground water system. It's 30 of those guys. We're going to need a lot. 
And a lot of this stuff is going to die. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take these guys, bring them over here, pick up more stuff, and then we're going to have those guys go underground and, and take this out. So what we have here is not quite enough, I don't believe. So just more of the micro are going to be moving things around. I do need to liberate this. I don't want people getting the idea they can just camp on top of my fort. 24 knights. So this will demand a little bit of respect in terms of a counter. Can this guy make it down here? Nope. So this will have to be people from our capital. Maybe Pangea will be, has been waiting for this all along. Uh, we'll send these guys, and then we'll send uh, a small contingent from our capital. Maybe we send these guys as well. And uh, we'll just put them in a big old line. Just like so. And... I think we'll be able to kill them with this, but, you know, you never know. Life is a mystery sometimes. We should have now our boots to get the death random down here a bit quicker. He can make it all the way to the cap. I think we're just going to go... No, we could send him on top of the cap. No, I think we're going to send him here. And he can forge more stuff. We also want to make... I don't have hammers, which is a bit unfortunate. But we're going to make a... Not a claim of pearls. A ghost orb. We're going to keep making some frost brands. Because I think we're going to carry forward with our plan to have a few ethereal guys on the cap that can help us with the, the storming operations. Let's have this guy auto site search. We can start making these Silver Order wizards, which is going to be quite nice. What are we going to do? We've got a fair number of elites here. I definitely want to at least get the elites down to the main army. Maybe this guy brings... We'll bring some guys over here, see if we can't... Put, I don't know what's going on over there. There was... I think we got rid of the... We've gotten rid of all the sectarian kind of cult events that I'm aware of. I don't think anybody's spreading hostile dominion. Uh, okay, what are we doing with you? We should... We need to save our earth gems because we're going to need to make hammers. I need to... I really need an earth too, which we don't have access to. I don't think the Dryads can get it either. I think we want to make... Is there anything in enchantment we want to cast? We cast... This is what I was thinking. We could do like Serpent Fang Arrows and then Mass Archers to maybe be able to take forts. That's a possibility. We could also Foul Vapors Trap them. Oh, I didn't think about that. I mean, that might be the real thing. Do that thug thing, but with foul vapors. We'd still have the wolves. We don't have Serpent's Blessing, though, do we? We'll have it at seven. We're going to have seven in a couple turns. Okay, we're adding to the mix now, because at seven, we're going to have rigor. Oh, we got a hero. We should go ahead and get her. Let her research for now, but we're going to send her down here where she can make stuff for us. She has very important paths. Got a lot of elites in this squad as well. So yeah, we're, the plan is getting thicker. We're going to have Mass Protection, we're going to have Rigor Mortis, we're going to have Serpent's Blessing, and we're going to have Foul Vapors. And we'll have a few mages on advance and cast, and that, that, that cocktail should be enough. Hopefully to kill everybody. Um... And then we'll be thinking about our next war target. So we'll tune in next time and hopefully get to see the downfall of Pangea, as well as who we fight next. And until then, take care.